All right. So we're back for another uh, episode. I'm so thankful that you've joined again. Um, <clears throat> been a very eventful week and uh, shoot, my allergies have been um, getting the best of me. However, we're going to make it through today. Um, I am really excited because uh, today I get to talk about um, just some really practical ways on which uh, people can purchase um, homes um, for number one, little to nothing down, uh, and then also special programs that our government itself uh, has in place. And if you remember me talking uh, last week, week before about different uh, FHA programs and you know government programs, um, they've now kind of changed things where they make it a lot more accessible for people to, um, and this is people of all races and nationalities, in order to have um, homes for discounted um, or even just cheap rates. I, I kid you not, like, like literally you can purchase a house for a dollar, a good neighbor next door. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But um, first, one of the things I was reading to, today and just as I was going throughout my um, week with my clients, um, you know, a lot of the work that I, I do is, you know, it's, 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 it's a lot of work, especially going out there and, you know, dealing with, you know, COVID and, you know, having all the, 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 the gear on. But the, the, the goal is not only just to, to help my, my, my clients, but it is also to, to um, really work as if I'm working unto God, you know. Um, and I was reading in Colossians, Colossians 3, 23. Now, granted, there's a whole lot in Colossians. I really encourage you to read the whole chapter, chapter 3, um, specifically the part where it talks about, um, you know, loving relationships. Um, but they have a part on here on verse 23 where it says, put your heart and soul into every activity that you do as though you are doing it for the Lord himself and not merely for, for others. And, you know, when I see that, you know, and, and actually really 24 too, for we know that if we, we, that we will receive a reward and inheritance from the Lord as we serve the Lord, God, the anointed one, a disciple will be repaid for what he has learned and followed for God pays no attention to the titles or prestiges of men. And, you know, seeing this and just kind of reflecting back on this last week where I had with my um, client and one couple, we were going out looking for homes. We had submitted an offer and, you know, I'm staying up to the wee hours of the night to write the offer for them. And, you know, we didn't get it accepted, you know, and, you know, trying to come in and, you know, they have a deadline and really just, 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 you know, really working as though, um, you know, like it was my home that I was trying to get, you know, and that's what I kind of put my heart and soul into doing. And it's a, it's a little bit of a letdown when, when it doesn't happen. Then it's also too like, okay, God, you know, I spent all this time and I did uh, everything and I did everything that I could do. And so now, you know, you take it over. And it's just amazing because, you know, long story short with this, this, this story, um, couple, we put an offer in, deadline was on one day and we put it in beforehand because, you know, right now the San Jose market is really tough uh, as far as uh, homes. Uh, and getting offers accepted. There's a lot of low supply of homes, um, but very much a lot of buyers because we have some great, <clears throat> we have some great uh, APRs, some great uh, incentives um, now in order to purchase homes. Um, even though people are losing their, their jobs, even though COVID is, is still rampant, um, it's still great opportunity. And, you know, of course, the economy, uh, the way that it is, um, real estate uh, does drive it. So, um, so yes, it's low interest rates and very much a lot of people that want to take advantage of it. Um, but in this particular instance, my clients, um, we submitted it early. Um, it's at a good price and during good terms and they rejected it. They rejected it once, twice and actually came up higher in value. And, you know, my clients, I'm, I'm so proud of them. They were willing to walk away and um, just to, to, you know, for the principle of the matter. And, you know, there's a whole lot of stuff in between, but in the end, um, I, you know, the day of the deadline, we ended up, uh, you know, they ended up calling us back and they wanted my clients to have the, the home. And out of 15 offers, um, their offer was, you know, especially through some back and forth negotiations and just about walkaways, um, they actually accepted their offer. And, I, and I, I look at that and I see that, you know, there's a family that this is their first time buying a home. And I really wanted it to make sure it happened for them, not only just for, for, for them, but God, you know, you put me in this position, I'm going to work as hard as I can in order for them to have um, 
something uh, that they can grasp onto, something that they can say that is their own. And I'm super proud of that. Um, and I'm super excited that I got to be used uh, in that capacity. And so I hope that, you know, whatever capacity that you serve in or whatever capacity that you work in, um, that you do put your heart and your soul into everything that you do um, as though you are doing it for the Lord uh, himself and not really for, for others, not to keeping an account of who did what or, or how, but you do it because you want to, you do it because you love, you do it because it, it means something to you, even if you don't get anything back in return. There's a lot of times I do work and I do, uh, um, I do work and, you know, go and show houses and show homes and I don't get paid for it. Uh, but when it finally does happen, you know, that's great, but I'm still working, you know, but um, I wouldn't have it any other way. I really enjoy what I do. And I hope that, you know, those that are listening, I hope you do enjoy what you do. And I hope it isn't, you know, treated as a task. And, and if it is, and that you think that it feels like it's a task, I pray that you would um, see it in a different light. I pray that you would see it in an assignment. I, I pray that you would see it in a way that God, you, you've put me here. Uh, for a reason. And so what is my assignment? And, you know, even though, yeah, I may have a boss or yeah, I may have, uh, you know, other people that that work with me or that I work for, but, you know, God, ultimately I work for you and I want to see it that way. And if I don't see it that way, God, show me um, where it is that um, I'm, I'm, I'm missing the, the, the vision of it. Show me where I'm missing that you right now you're working on my character or whatever the case may be. Um, I just pray that you do, you, you have a, um, a heart and soul of working as into the Lord um, himself, because man, it sure changes the perspective of a job uh, versus it being an employment. So that being said, um, I love some Colossians. And again, that, that whole chapter is, is really, really, really good. I'd so encourage you to um, read it. Um, it's been a great week. Uh, those that have listened uh, last week, I've had some people call me and actually get off off the, the fence and actually want to start their home search. And I'm super excited for that because again, this is one of the reasons why I do this. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I, I, I feel that, you know, I just, just, just to share, whether it be about my experiences or whether it be about what I've learned, um, I think it's just so important. And I'm, I'm super excited that at least two uh, listeners uh, are now going to take their steps into home ownership. Uh, so they're now going to, you know, they're getting their pre-approval process started, had a great consult with them. And I'm believing that um, at least two of the listeners um, here, I've already gotten one, but at least two of the listeners uh, that I've been in contact with over this last week are going to get their homes too. So, you know, kudos to you if you're listening uh, for jumping out on faith and, and literally saying, you know what? I'm going to go out there and I'm going to do it. I'm going to take a step. I don't know where I'm going, but you know what? Um, I'm going to take a risk and I'm going to believe that even, even in the midst of COVID-19, uh, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to get a house and this is going to be my first house in the midst of this pandemic. So kudos to you on believing that God can come through and um, yeah, even in the midst of a crazy uh, pandemic. All right, so when we come, uh, right now we're going to transition into what I talked about. Um, I dealt with HUD properties um, quite a bit, uh, especially when there was a lot of foreclosed um, properties on the market. So this was specifically in when we had our turn of the market. And so 2008, 2009, and then, you know, kind of carried um, on uh, into the, the years, but specifically about that time, there was a lot of homes, a lot of foreclosed properties. And, you know, when we were going through the, the, the time frame of a lot of short sales as well. So I've had my hand in HUD uh, housing and man, you'd be surprised there are a lot of homes that are specifically designed for first time home buyers, um, specifically for um, just owner occupants. And a lot of people don't know about them. Um, for the longest time, they haven't been kind of out in the market just because we haven't had a lot of foreclosures. Um, but these homes are specifically set aside so that you as a first time home buyer, and let me, let me clarify, 
first time home buyer, it doesn't mean like um, that you've never bought a home, but it means that in the last three years, uh, you've not uh, purchased a property. So whether that's you or your spouse um, being married, so in, the, in that three year time frame. So technically, if you haven't purchased, purchased a house in the last three years, you are considered a first time home buyer. And during the time of you know, going through a HUD um, program, you, know, you can't obviously actively own a home. So these are designed for, um, you know, a lot of them are just, they're, they're lower priced um, homes. Uh, a lot of the homes too come with um, uh, uh, abilities to even uh, to update the home as well. And I'll get into that um, on, uh, in, in a little bit, but kid you not, homes that need actually help or they need um, different uh, work being done on, to, uh, on them. Uh, they have actual <laughs> programs designed, in, um, uh, designed so that you can you don't have to actually foot the bill for the work. It actually gets built into the loan. Talk about that in a little later. Uh, but um, I think it's a great program and I'm so glad that it's coming back um, and more people are gonna start to um, utilize this. And unfortunately, because of our market, um, unfortunately, because of our market, we're gonna have a lot more um, foreclosed properties. We just are, you know, people are losing uh, their homes and especially if they have a, you know, Fannie and Freddie Mac loan product, um, those are the properties that get foreclosed on. Those are the ones that go into these uh, particular programs. Um, unfortunately, you know, it's, it's bad for those that lose it, but um, on the other end, it's actually good for those that are able to actually now get into the market because of these particular homes properties. And I'll talk more about that when we um, come back and explain a little bit about what HUD is. You know, that's the, you know, Housing of Urban Development. Um, some of you probably know that, but um, I'm going to talk about what is the Housing of uh, Urban Development and what's its mission. So stay tuned um, in a second. When we come back, I'll talk more about it. Thanks so much. All right, so we're going to talk now HUD Homes. Um, again, near and dear to my heart, as I talked about in the last um, segment, I've dealt a lot with these and actually have helped people um, into HUD properties. But let's talk about what HUD is, okay? Um, HUD is the Department of Housing and Urban Development. It is what was created as a part of um, Lyndon B. Johnson's War on Poverty. Um, the Department of uh, Housing and Urban Development, it was established uh, as a cabinet department by the Department of Housing and Urban Development Act. And that was in 1965. Um, the mission of HUD is to, it, they're responsible for national policy and programs that address America's housing needs. Um, they improve and develop kind of like nation's communities and they enforce fair housing laws, which is kind of interesting, you know, FHA, fair housing laws. Anyways, um, HUD's uh, businesses are to help uh, create a decent home and suitable living environment for all Americans, and it has given American communities a strong national voice at the cabinet level. So um, again, we have Ben Carson, who's uh, ahead of the HUD homes, you know, housing and urban development. It plays a major role in supporting home ownership by underwriting home ownership for lower and moderate income families uh, through its mortgage insurance programs and some of you have probably heard those as being a um as being um fha loans as well you know what let me pause real quick you know nate you i think on yours i'm hearing uh re re let's let's restart this recording because i think on yours if it's not paused i'm hearing uh stuff come through on your end but were you paused or was that just my internet messing up no uh, i i have it so you can only hear yourself yeah but, but were you were you paused through that time because i swear i heard like something coming through on the recording i mean i'm i'm a, pretty excited about this uh topic because again like i've mentioned before in the last segment i worked a lot with um uh, had properties specifically in 2008 and 2009 um, when there was a lot of foreclosed properties and you know homes were were either short sold or probably in foreclosure but one way that you could kind of counteract um, having all these foreclosed property as a first time home buyer was to go to the hud.gov uh, website and try to find homes there. Um, so of course you do need a HUD certified um, agent in order to uh, purchase the properties. Um, but point being is um, you being able to find someone, which I can be, uh, I haven't renewed that license in, in a while, but 
Point being, I know that they're coming back, so I will be doing it. Um, but again, it's another way in order to get homes at a fraction of the, of the price and not have to compete with investors. Because a lot of times the prices are so low that you have a lot of investor clients that want to go and purchase these homes. The good thing about these properties is sometimes they have them as a first look initiative. And the first look initiative allows you as a first time home buyer to look at them for a certain amount of time. So no investors, no, no anyone, but first time home buyers are able, and owner occupants that is, um, are able to purchase these homes. So again, so what is HUD? So it was created by um, uh, President Lyndon B. Johnson's War on Poverty, okay? Uh, Department of Housing and Urban Development is established, it was established in 1965, and it was one of the things that, one of their missions was to, uh, it was responsible for national policy and programs that needed to address America's housing needs. Um, that improve and develop the nation's communities and they enforce fair housing laws. So it's a whole big thing that it, that it covers. And as you know, now Ben Carson is um, head over housing, her housing and urban development. Um, it was uh, created to help decent home and um, suitable living environments for all Americans and has given America's communities a strong national voice at the cabinet level. It's just, it's a really major role in supporting home ownership and underwriting home ownership <clears throat> for lower and moderate income families through its mortgage insurance programs, which we kind of know as being uh, FHA programs. They have great, <clears throat> they marry together very, very well. Um, Federal Housing Authority FHA loans, they marry very well with HUD properties. Matter of fact, they prefer really um, um, FHA loans to go with HUD properties because it's all federal, it's all government. Um, and it works very, very well. Um, they do have other programs. They do a lot with regards to uh, bl block grant programs, uh, basically reallocating um, funds to help uh, uh, change uh, blocks. Um, they also do assisted housing. They work with um, public housing as well, you know, Section 8, supportive housing, um, emergency shelter grants, um, housing opportunities um, with, um, you know, different uh, disability like AIDS programs, and for instance. Um, also fair housing, they make sure they have public education. Um, so they have a lot of initiatives and things that they do with the public and it's, it's actually pretty good. And, and also too, the programs are available for those that do not have very low income. Um, so ultimately it's first time by home buyers across the board and um, you know, those that meet the requirements for you know, even conventional loans can actually purchase these um, properties too. So it's not just all, you, know, you have to be low income in order to buy it, although they, they're the ones that probably capitalize on it a lot more, but you don't have to be. Um, and that's the good thing about these particular homes that I'm going to talk about. So to get to this website, you know, you simply go to um, hud.gov. And when you go there, you search for homes uh, for sale. And single family homes will pop up on the screen. And then you're gonna click on um, pretty much from HUD. So it's one of the first uh, lines on there. And you're gonna get, um, you know, homes and kind of a list of homes in your area. You're going to click on the state and then you're going to get uh, homes from all your, your, your different areas. And it's kind of cool because, you know, it may be some in the areas that you are interested in, uh, but they have a whole list and they have a whole time of bid submission on it. So sometimes it's five days, four days, and it tells you the countdown of the different days that you have in order to purchase and bid on this particular property. Um, they also say on there who are the eligible builders, and majority of them are either owner occupants, nonprofits, and government agencies only that can build on these. And again, like I said before, some are first step initiatives, or first um, look initiatives, where no one else can actually look at these for a certain amount of time until, you know, after it's been lifted and maybe no owner occupants have purchased the home, then you as an investor can come in and swoop up those properties. But for a good portion of it, you won't be able to which is great um, for my first time home buyers that are looking in this direction. The other thing I wanted to point out um, as well, and, and just let me back up. So bidding on these particular properties is pretty easy, um, just as long as you, you know, again, have the different agents that are able to um, purchase on the properties, it's not hard at all. You bid on it, um, it goes into the program and, um, you know, they eventually let you know if you're the winner or you're not. And there's paperwork that you have to fill out. There's a lot of paperwork that you have to fill out. But in the end, you know, having the agent do all that, you know, it's, it's really a cool opportunity. Sometimes they even do things like uh, termite section one or even lead-based um, uh, lead uh, testing. Um, sometimes they actually do that. Um, on their own, and that's part of the, 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 the package that comes with purchasing the property. Really, really cool. 
And sometimes, again, you can actually tie in a 203k loan, which is a renovation loan, FHA renovation loan. Um, you can tie that into those particular properties. And at 203k rehabilitation mortgage insurance, those are awesome. Um, you know, sometimes they have streamlined ones, which is less than about $35,000. Um, or you can do a whole re rehabilitation mortgage um, a program where it covers even more than $35,000. Of course, you have to get a contractor out there um, in order to do the work and you have a certain amount of time to do the work in, but it is an opportunity for you to get a fixer property as a first time home buyer and fix it up. Not bad. Um, the other cool thing about the, the, the HUD.gov um, um, site, and remember, you, you have to go specifically to HUD.gov. There's a lot of other sites that um, try to copy and mimic the same thing, but those are not the government sites. So definitely make sure that you are on the actual government site. Um, but they have programs like Neighbor Next Door. Kid you not. Um, it's kind of cool. It's an initiative uh, that's designed to encourage the renewal and revitalization of areas. And they provide specific opportunities for law enforcement officers, firefighters, emergency medical technicians, and teachers to purchase homes in these communities. Um, HUD, they provide a um, initiative and a substantial of about 50% of the discount off of the list price of eligible properties. What? Property listed for 400,000, you can get for 200. Property listed for 600,000, you can get 300,000. That's kind of awesome. So that also can be found on there in, in certain um, areas. They don't have a lot of them, um, but I'm, I'm believing that a lot of them are gonna come um, through um, slowly but surely. They also have um, for nonprofits as well. So like if you're a church, for instance, or if you have a nonprofit business for, you know, for just helping the community, you can also purchase homes at discounts up to 30%. And with that discount, you know, local nonprofit organizations, they can invest in your community. So they actually do have these type of homes in certain areas too that you can capitalize on for being a nonprofit. Isn't that awesome? Um, and then also, did you know that you can actually buy a home for $1? Yeah, I said it, like $1. Uh, the, the cool thing about uh, the, HUD, um, the HUD homes is they're the dollar homes. And it helps local governments in fostering um, opportunities for low to moderate income families. And it also addresses uh, you know, specific community needs by offering them the opportunity to purchase the HUD homes for $1 um, each. And dollar homes are, they're, they're pretty much, they're not really, I don't think they've, they've ever really do condos or uh, townhouses per, per se. I always kind of know them as doing single family homes, but the single family homes that are acquired by the Federal Housing Administration um, which is FHA uh, as a result of foreclosure. So the dollar homes, they pretty much give, you know, as long as you qualify, obviously, for them, and there's a portal, things that you have to type in, um, or like for the different areas, you have to qualify. But if you qualify, I mean, shoot, what a great opportunity for dollar homes. I um, mean, even if you don't think that you might, uh, you know, be um, qualified, hey, why, give it a shot, right? But again, that's found on hud.gov. HUD homes, uh, make sure you go to the right site, not any other ones because they have a whole bunch of ones. Uh, and if you read on the bottom, if you scroll down to the bottom, just to make sure you are on the right site, scroll down to the very bottom and it will tell you whether or not it is a government uh, program or not they are required to. So always check the sites that you're on so that you don't go to a phishing site or a site that um, someone's just collecting your information and they really aren't the actual um, website because there's a lot of them out there. Even when I was typing in um, uh, stuff and, you know, I had to look twice and, you know, again, hud.gov and you can find um, all the things that I've talked about and they have good resources. My goodness, they even have resources on how to buy a HUD home. So it goes through the whole process. They have fair housing information. They have, um, uh, you know, terms in, in, in dealing with HUD properties. They even have, um, you know, different properties and talking about real estate statistics and such. And remember, I talked about the 203K rehabilitation program. They have those um, information where you could talk or find out even more information on um, rehabilitation mortgage uh, insurance. I say all this to say, and I bring this to you uh, in wrapping up because 
you know, there's so many different opportunities. Understand that home ownership is not just, you know, the traditional way that I, I typically deal with, you know, you're putting um, down 20%, you get a home and you get in. No, there's so many outside the box ways in which you can purchase a home. And, you know, bringing this hopefully to, to someone today. Um, and if you need more help on, on it, just give me a call. Um, I can easily um, guide and direct, and even if I'm not in your state, um, guide and direct you to uh, a agent that can be able to help you in that area. Um, again, my number is 408 561 7922, or you can check out my website. It's TamikaEllsworth.com. And um, I'm more than happy to even direct you to the website to make sure you are on the right one and even talk to you a little bit more about um, the different opportunities. Um, and hey, shoot, uh, maybe even help you uh, in purchasing one. I'd be more than happy to do that as well. But um, thank you so very much. And remember, if you're on the fence on home ownership, not really having enough uh, faith to do it, I want to talk to you because I believe that even now in 2020 is the time to um, purchase, is the time to buy. Or it's the time to set yourself up for success so that, hey, if it's not 2020, then 2021 is your year. Or maybe the next year. It doesn't really matter, but you got to start somewhere. And so why not start now? Um, either knowing what you can afford, knowing what your purchasing power is, and making sure that your credit's good. Thank you so very much. Again, this is Tamika Ellsworth, and I'm equipping people of faith for the home buying process. God bless. Thank you.